of the Empire State Building. C100. New York. We are here with Jimmy T Tatro from Theater Camp. I just finished watching you in the machine. So to, to now talk about theater camp, it's like, it's almost like, was that a palate cleanse for you personally? It was a big change of pace, definitely, <laughs> yeah. But we did shoot those two movies a year apart. And so it's kind of funny that they're coming out, you know, one month apart. Isn't it weird though, like talking to, to actors of going like, we film stuff not knowing when things, and then it feels like everything's back to back. It's like, can we just spread this out a little bit so we have some time? I know, it would have been nice to, to have a little bit more of a gap, but it, it's exciting. There was like a month between them, so, and they're so different. Uh, one's like a big action comedy, one's, right. you know, like a feel good mockumentary theater camp movie. Well, with that too, uh, the only thing I know about Sundance is versus Entourage. You know, they, they, brought, they, they brought their movie to, to Sundance, it, it got sold. For theater camp, when you, when you signed up for it, did you know it was going to, we're gonna take it to, we're gonna take it to Sundance, hopefully it gets sold. What was the backstory for you going into theater camp? Um, yeah, you never know where it's, I mean, with, it was an independent movie. So right. you, you never, ideally you get into Sundance, but you don't really know for sure. So I was, Super excited when I found out we got in. I've been to Sundance. I used to go a bunch just because my friend had a place at the foot of the mountain and I'd go and snowboard because during Sundance there's no one on the mountain because yeah. they're all at the film festival. So it's like a great time to go snowboard. Um, and then the older I got, the more people started being like, do you have a movie here? And I'm like, maybe I should not come back until I have a movie. So I've, I finally got the, mo we got the movie in and uh, I was able to go out there and snowboard again. And when, with your character, is it kind of a little, little bit a piece of you to a degree in theater camp? Um, I think the piece of me that's in there is that I actually have no idea about musical theater. Right, no, I, well, I, I too went to basketball camp growing up. So yeah, like that, that's, that's the extent of camp I know. I think that's the, kind of the only similarity I have with, with the character of Troy is that I share his confusion about theater camp. Like there was a lot of things I'd be on set like, what is this reference? And then as they'd start explaining it, I'd go, actually, don't, don't tell me. I want to just ride out this confusion into the movie. Now, with your, with your character, too, you're kind of more of like a vlogger and blog. So did you do a lot of research of scanning profiles and, and stalking people online? And be like, eh, pull a little from here, pull a little from there. Well, I started on YouTube. Of course. So I, you know, I've been to VidCon a bunch of times. I've been around a lot of vloggers. So it was very easy to like pull that inspiration, like the, the vlogger types. And then for Troy, it was like infusing a little bit of that like Ty Lopez energy, yep. like the, the, the business advice vloggers, um, which is kind of like a new trend that's really been coming up in the last year. These guys that just love giving business advice regardless of save two hundred dollars at the age of twenty and over forty five years you'll be you'll be a millionaire. If you don't if you don't have a Lamborghini by twenty nine, you need to cut all of your friends and have new friends in your life. The ones Don't, that have Lambos. Right. You need to have only friends with Lamborghinis. That's Troy. Now, uh, with Theater Camp, the success, like, I mean, after you're done filming, like, do you, do you move on to the next project and then to learn that it's getting picked up and bought and then put into theaters everywhere? What was that like for you, like, learning about the success after, after everyone watched it? It was super exciting. I, I didn't expect it to get a theatrical release, to be honest. I, I thought it would be awesome if, you know, it went to any of the streamers. Um, so when we found out that we were we were getting bought by Searchlight and it was going to get a theatrical release, it was like, yeah, it, it couldn't have been a better feeling. Well, congratulations. And uh, I, I was going to do this without a shirt on, but <laughs> I opted <to> not to. <laughs> From the top of the Empire State Building. C100.